Hey guys, it's Nicole, and I'm back just to show you two layouts I've been working on um, recently before I go away for the weekend. I wanted to post this. So this is my first layout. Um, it's a 12 by 12 on craft paper from Hobby Lobby, and I use two paper sets. I use the um, Fly a Kite Collect, no, I'm sorry, the Togetherness Collection by Cosmo Cricut, and um, a couple of the papers from this pennant were from a different Cosmo Cricut collection. Let me think. A 6 by 6 pack. Oh, the Early Bird collection. And then this last paper back here is a Sassafras last piece paper. So actually three collections. Um, so what I did was I just um, cut out this little piece of paper. This is kind of how I started. And I can kind of like bring it up a little, guys, just so you can see some of the detail. Um, actually, I'll go over it, and then I'll try to bring it up for you. Let me just make sure I'm on camera here, because I'm on the floor like a lazy bum. Okay, um, so what I did was I started with this um, background piece of grid paper, and then I used this photo of me and my best friend in Atlanta. Um, I put it on matte um, black and white setting on my computer, and then I folded um, this piece of togetherness paper accordion style, and then I glued, actually I think I tape runnered it so that it sealed pretty good, and I used um, a Martha Stewart punch, uh, double scallop punch here, and I just punched the strip, and then I used Broken China Distress Ink on the edge here. Um, this is a piece from the Fly Kite, I mean Togetherness Collection. I'm getting them confused because I couldn't decide which one to use. Um, here, and then I made this pennant banner. I just eyeballed a triangle and cut out six of them in altering patterns, put it on a piece of teal floss, and glued it down. Um, I just try to lay everything out. I really like this layout, and I'm not even really sure why. It's not like anything spectacular, but it just came out so cute. Um, and then this is what I was telling you, those paper whimsies from Sassafras Lass. I cut it in half and used the 11, and it says 11 reasons, um, will always be friends. And then I did, um, 11 reasons why. They, these are, um, thickers from, uh, American Craft. And this cloud, I actually just used a cloud um, shape on Microsoft Word, and I printed it on a pattern paper, and then I cut it out. So I really like the way it turned out. Um, then here and here are um, is that doily from the um, October Afternoon Thrift Shop collection. So I did half of it here and half of it here. I kind of like it because it kind of looks like half of the sun. Um... And then I also used the Remember This Very Moment here, and then I have the little finger pointing to the moment. This is from the sticker set. It's it's one of the page strip stickers, but I just cut the amount I needed and tucked it in there because I want it a little bit of red to be thrown over to this side. Um, I printed out my list. I forget what font of writing I used, but I really like it because it turned out very like whimsical looking. Um, but I printed it on a ledger paper from the collection. Then I took two Prima um, E-Line flowers and I put a Paper Whimsy flower in the middle that was already put together from Sassafras Last. And on this one I just used a button from my button stash in the middle. And then from one of my stamp sets I used some green chalk ink to stamp these little birds sitting here. So that's this layout. And then I used my white gel pen to do stitching around it. So just to give you a little look-see at it. All right, so that's that layout. Then I made this layout. Um, I was on a craft kick. I'm not really sure why. But I made this layout, and I like the way it turned out. Um, this background paper is from Jelly Bean Soup. I don't know what collection, and I, to be honest with you, I think I cut off the name. Um, but yeah, this is from Jelly Bean Soup, and then the rest of the papers are from the Fly a Kite collection for October afternoon. Since I didn't use it on this um, one, I use this one. And this layout's called Three Generations of Happy, and it's because it's my generation, myself, my mom, and then her mom, my grandmother. So um, what I did was I 
cut out this, I believe it's like six by six or six and a half by six and a half piece of this polka dot paper that I really liked. And I used peeled paint distress ink around the edges of it. And then I distressed the edges of these two strips and used walnut stain or vintage photo, I can't remember, and tucked these papers in. And then I used this with a border, uh, an EK Success border punch strip to just kind of cover all the lines um, of the papers meeting. So that was like my initial layout. Then I put the picture of my mom and I up here. Um, I used one of those Jilly Bean Soup um, corrugated pieces here and what I did was I used um, my paint dauber in brown and rubbed it on the top and then on all these little uh, dents I used my orange stickles. Um, these are just material covered um, thickers and so I kind of like the way I did it because I was like oh I want to use the word generations but it's so long. Then I was like you know what who cares it's fun to just break the word up. So I really like the way it turned out. Um, and then these are some more of those e-line flowers, and then I use a little flower bling in the middle. Um, this is, I don't even know where this flower is from, but I've had it in my stash forever, and I was just waiting for the right project to use it on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really cute. Um, it's made out of, um, burlap, and then it has a piece of silk, and then it has a piece of canvas, and then it has this little middle, so I really like that. Then from one of my Hero Art stamps, I stamped in green olive ink, You Make Me Smile, on one of the stickers that came with the sat. Put it there. Um, this Happy Bingo card is actually from um, the Farmer's Market um, Wild Card Collection from October Afternoon. So I just distressed the edges. I browned them up a little bit. Then I used peel paint. And then I took some Jelly Bean um, soup green twine that I had and I wrapped it around a few times and since it's three generations of happiness I used and this took forever to put on but I just used little bling to circle the three on there um so I really like the way that turned out then here on my Cricut I cut out this tree that I also used on my um I'll show you I also used that same tree branch thing where'd I use it Ooh, where'd I use it oh right there on here and so I used it on here, um, and then instead of cutting out, like, the just whole treetop that this usually has on it, I cut out hearts with a heart punch and cut them in half and curled them around, um, a paintbrush to kind of just make it like this, and I really like the way it turned out. It's cute. I could have put more on it, but I like the branches exposed, um, and then down here, I'm not really happy with how this came out, but I used my green doily, um, rub-on collection that I got from Studio Calico to kind of make grass down here and it just didn't show up as good as I wanted it to. But I'm really happy with the way both of these layouts um, turned out so I just wanted to share them with you guys. So I won't be making videos probably till next week because I get back from my little mini trip on Monday. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Have a good weekend. Bye!